Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I'm going to be unboxing the M&S Beauty Advent Calendar for 2022. So let's get cracking. Hi, I hope you're all doing okay. My voice is still a bit shocking. So last weekend when I were doing lots of filming, I started to feel really, really poorly. Um, and I were hoping it wasn't the cove and it wasn't, right? But I completely lost my voice on Monday and Tuesday, just gone, right? It were cracking. Eventually I were able to say a few words. And then by Wednesday, it started to improve, but it still left me with this slightly dodgy voice. It don't feel like my voice. Um, and also, it's sort of on my chest a little bit. My throat's still a bit sore, but thankfully, it wasn't the cove. So I'm just relieved about that. I, went, I still went into work. Um, although working with kiddies when you've got no voice is quite difficult. You know, it really was quite difficult, but I got through it. So that's good. So anyway, I bought this M&S uh, Beauty Advent calendar because at the time I paid for it, it were only £40 if you bought, I don't know whether it was about 30 quid's worth of stuff off m &S. That's no challenge for me, right? I could spend hundreds of pounds on m &S. So, um, yeah, I bought another advent calendar at the time, which I still have to pick up from the sorting office. But anyway, this has come. I'm well pleased that it has. And I'm super excited to have a look inside it. Um, yeah, so it looks really pretty. I've sort of had a, a brief look at the box and I know that the box I can reuse as well, which I'm even more pleased about. So let's open it and have a look. I put my gigs on. I'm really sorry about my voice. You're just going to have to bear with me while it comes back properly. And now I'm looking. Now I've got my gigs on. My hair is all like static on the top. Anyway, it's okay. I'll have to do. What can I do about it? Right. So it's really pretty. And it comes like this, got all this gold sort of detail all over it. A draw at the bottom and then this bit that opens on the top. Let's slip this bit off. This is the outside. It says it's got over £300 worth of stuff in it, which is great. So inside the top, this bit is actually a mirror. Okay, but it's got this blue coating on it, but you can take that off. But rather than blind you all, I won't do that, right? And then... I'm trying to tip it so you won't, you know, so you can actually see it. So that's inside the top here. And then inside the bottom, there is a drawer with all of the boxes in it. It's so pretty. Really, really pretty. I'm really excited to have a look what's in it. I might have to put some over the mirror so I'm not blinding you all while I'm doing this. Hang on. Okay, I've moved out all my vases and things. Stick them there. So this is a one layer here and this is the other layer. But I think they're sort of slightly mixed up in it. You know, like you, the, you don't go through one layer and then go through the next. You just go through from one to the other kind of thing. I'm really excited about it. I'm hoping there's not just skincare in it. I imagine it's going to be quite skincare of it because that's Max and Spencer's, isn't it? You can get some really nice skincare there. Um, but I am hoping there's one or two sort of makeup items. Incidentally, today I am wearing almost a full face of Revolution makeup that I got in my Revolution Beauty Advent calendar. Um, although not the um, mascara or foundation because they were in it. But um, yeah, I quite liked using it. Loved it all anyway. Right, that's by the by. Let's get into this. Box one. Finally, right, it took me ages. I'll have had to cut out loads of footage there of me just staring blankly at this box. Right, box number one, it's bright pink, really pretty. And it's got these little bits on here. I suppose you could turn them over and actually reuse the box. Dark circles be gone. Oh my goodness, it's gonna give you hints on each of the boxes. I'm not gonna look then, right? I don't wanna know what's in the boxes until I actually open them. So anyway, right, this is day number one. Where's the front? There we go. It's by Wren. Great. I like Wren. It's a nice brand. Quite pricey. Brightening dark circle eye cream. Getting exactly what I need. Absolutely exactly what I need. Let's have a look inside. 
Oh, that's really nice. That's really cute, that one. How many mils do you get? 15 mils. I don't suppose you need that much for under your eyes. Although there's dark circles in the mind, I might need half the pot. You know, right, let's give it a go. Oh, sometime later, I'll try to get the pump to get some out. There we go. Oh my goodness, I've squirted out way too much. Okay, sort of a slightly pinkish tone. It smell. what does it smell of? Goodness me, I can't actually put my finger on what it smells of. It's a childhood memory, but I can't think what. It's got a vague fragrance of Play-Doh. It has, it's got a vague fragrance of creamy Play-Doh. It smells really nice if you like that sort of fragrance. Um, and I definitely need it for dark circles, although I have squirted out way too much on my hand. Yeah, the Play-Doh fragrance goes off slightly. The more you've got it on there, I'm gonna have to find a tissue. There we go. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up with so much on my hands, I'm not gonna be able to test out else, but I'm very, very pleased with that as door number one, and I will be using that later on today. Once I've taken my slap off my face, you know, I'll put a bit of that on. Great, I like it a lot. Right, so that's door number one. If you saw this table, it's covered in stuff that I've got in beauty advent calendars. Absolutely covered. Door number two, I've seen that, it's here. Okie dokie, there it is. Can you see it, door number two? Right, let's have a look, see what's in here. I'm not going to look until I've opened it. Okie doke, this one by Origins. Um, checks and balances, frothy face wash. Wow, a frothy one, great. I don't think I've ever had a frothy face wash. I mean, I have face washes that frothed, but nothing that marketed itself that way. Right, yo. It's there, look. Let's have a little see what it smells like. Okay, it actually has the consistency of moisturiser, which is fantastic, you know. That's so nice. What's it say on my box? Reveal your natural radiance. I don't have one. <laughs> Mine's left the building. <laughs> okay, but I quite like the product anyway. Drop my box down there onto this heap of boxes. Yesterday, all I did was sort out my flat and I, well, I, I had an entire bin liner of recycling from beauty advent calendars. So I'm starting a new pile now. Anyway, door number three. I forgot to tell you, I think it's a 25 day one, this one. Right, so great for 40 quid. You can't knock it, can you? Three, great, okay. All right, this one, let's have a look. Is it a nail varnish? That's a pretty colour if it is. It says Kensington High Street. It's got to be nail zinc. It's got to be nail zinc because that uh, colour sounds exactly like nail zinc colours. I really like it. Thank goodness it's not pink. I'm super pleased with that one. I actually have used the one I got at my Ted Baker Beauty Advent calendar on my toenails. It's the nicest uh, nail varnish I've had in ages. Just the colour's so pretty and it went on so well. I love it. So, new one to try there. So, my daughter's buying me my nails done properly. You know, like um, overlays on them. And I'm sort of thinking of getting this sort of colour leading up to Christmas. You know, this sort of plummy colour. So great, I might be able to make my toenails match the same. So fabulous, like that one. Okay, at least it's something a bit makeup y as well. Although I'm not mad about any of the doors so far. Door number four. Right, door number four. Honestly, because all the writing is different, some are numbers, some's writing. I'm really struggling to find them. Maybe it's just because I'm as daft as a brush. Maybe it's because I've got cataracts. Who knows, right? Anyway, let's see what's in this. Oh, it's quite a big tube. This one by Philip Kingsley. Please let it be elasticizer. Bodybuilding. Volumizes and lifts fine hair. Oh, and then it just says the same thing, I think, in French. Weightless shampoo. Lovely. I've just run out of shampoo and all. Very, very happy to try a Philip Kingsley shampoo. It couldn't have come at a better time for me. I'm totally out. Wash me hair yesterday. Used the last bit that I'd got in my bottle. So, um, super pleased with that. That'll tie me on till payday as well. 
you know, let's be honest about it. I'm down to the last bit of the month right now financially. So I've paid all my bills, but I don't have a lot of expendable income until I get paid again. So very happy that I don't have to now fork out for a new shampoo. Like I say, that'll tide me on. Let's have a little go of it. Oh my goodness. It's quite liquidy. I was sort of expecting it to be a bit thicker, really. If it's out like the um, elasticizer, I'll be well chuffed. Oh, it smells lovely. Yeah, it's quite um, sort of lightly fragranced. It's a bit floral, but it's also got a slight freshness to it. So I love it. Absolutely love it. And that bottle, how many mils do I get? Uh, 60 mils. That'll definitely do two hair washes at the very least. Um, just my hair, honestly. It, I've got longer hair now. So it takes a bit more washing, you know. A bit more shampoo. Okay, but I'll definitely probably get two washes out of that one and a bit more, so fantastic. And that'll tide me on till I get some more money. Anyway, what was that, door number four? It said on this one, wave goodbye to your flat, lifeless hair. Oh, well, that, that's a big claim, given what my hair looks like. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with it. Okay, door number five. Hey, I just thought I'd jump in at this point as well, right? Because I keep forgetting to say at the beginning of my videos, please, please, if you could bring yourself to do it, would you mind subscribing? Um, I'm desperately trying to get up to 10K subscribers. Um, and if I do, I've got a massive giveaway planned. Um, I'm sort of thinking about giving people jama boxes, but it may be something else. Um, so if you wouldn't mind... And it would mean the absolute world to me, um, clicking the subscribe button. All right, I'll pass you back. Found it. Door number five. Lovely. Right, let's have a look in this one. This is the best beauty um, advent calendar I've, I've been looking forward to, right? Or the one I've been looking forward to the most. Um, uh, just because I really like Marks and Spencers. So anyway, in here, we've got this. What is it? Shane Blue Boutique Perfumery SB. Um, it's in Black Tulip Natural Spray Fragrance. Eau de Parfum. Not even an Eau de Toilette, a proper Eau de Parfum. Ooh, it's in a nice bottle as well. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't really need any more perfume. If you saw the quantity of uh, Chanel Number no. 5 that I'm working way through at the moment, because people give me them as gifts. And it's a beautiful gift to receive. But I am working my way through a lot. To the point where I've now started wearing it at work. You know, I'm not even just saving it for going out. out. I'm actually wearing it at work. But anyway, happy to try a new one. Let's give this a little spritz. Oh, God. Wow. Give it a minute, minute to go off, Kim. Goodness me, that shot right up my nose. Okay, that's nice. It's a bit more floral than the fragrances I normally go for. But it has got a nice sort of freshness to it, florally, with a bit more heavy undertone. Um, so nice, I'll definitely use it. Not mad about that at all. That's unusual to receive an order pound film in one of these, especially for 40 quid. So, so far, I'm doing really well. I've got a lovely collection going. Yeah, it is very floral, that fragrance, but I like it. You know what? I like it. Six. All right, number six. Let's give it a go. I've slightly bent the box trying to get it out. Okay, something else by Philip Kingsley. Is this going to be the conditioner? Bodybuilding weightless conditioner. Fantastic. Okay, so we've had the shampoo. Now we've got the conditioner. Love it. Both in a 60ml tube. So great. You can have the matching fragrance on your hair. Love them. Great. I love Philip Kingsley stuff. I really do. So I'm super pleased that we've got the conditioner and the shampoo at the same time. I'm just going to have a drink of my hot chocolate. All right. <laughs> I got it a, a sachet in my jama box. So before I sat down, I thought, oh, I'm going to make that hot chocolate. It looks really nice. Although it's left a ring on my cup. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. It's been donkeys since I've had hot chocolate because I wouldn't normally go out and buy it because it's milk, isn't it? But 
Uh, now I've got it in my flat. I thought, oh, well, I'll just have it, you know, and I'm really pleased I've got it. It's delicious. Okay. What we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I saw you in here. There you go. Number seven. It's getting a bit easier to get them out now that there's some space in it. It feels quite light, but anyway, let's give it a go. It's probably worth a fortune. Okie dokie, little tube by Nukes, uh, Mervellians, Mervellians, Lift, Firming Powdery Cream. Powdery cream? <laughs> What's a powdery cream? Let's, let's squeeze it out. Is it like a primer? Is that what we're doing here, a primer? Let's put a bit there. I don't need a little bit. Look, can you see? All right, we'll go for a little bit. How much do you get in the actual tube? You get 15 mils, so not massive. It feels very much like a primer. Oh, it, it's not the nicest fragrance. It gets better over time, but that initial fragrance is quite tart, right? <laughs> Which is not a fragrance I normally associate with makeup, you know. I think it's a moisturizer, you know, right? It says apply in the morning and night to face, neck and whatever else, right? Okay, so I think it might be a moisturiser. Yeah, it's got quite a tart uh, sort of fragrance to it. That's not my favourite one I've opened. It really isn't. I love the red tube. Very festive, you know. But, um, yeah, that's not my favourite fragrance at all. No doubt I will use it. I'll run out of moisturiser. Maybe next year, summertime, right? <laughs> that might be when I run out of moisturiser. I've got a drawer full of the stuff. But anyway, at the point at which I run out, I'll be glad I've got it. Right, okay, so there's that one. Right, I don't even know what door we're on. Number eight, is it? What I'm going to use this for is a jewellery box once I've finished. I know it's got a mirror on the top, so you could use it as like a makeup box. But I need a jewellery box, right? I absolutely need a jewellery box. And this to me, I'm in a top and a bottom that I can sling all my jewellery in is perfect. Anyway, number eight. Let's give this a go. What are you? Oh, it's a little pot. Please let me be able to read the writing on this. This one. Somebody's contacting me. I think it's my daughter and Eve. Okay. <laughs> and again. Right, okay. This is um, Lumine uh, Sleeping Cream. Overnight bright sleeping cream. Okay, I've got a massive pot of Lumine. Is it there? Hang on. Oh, it's a baby one for my big one, right? So I got this. I think I got this in a Jama box, the last Jama box, right? So this is a full size one, um, I think. Okay, so that's the mummy and there's the baby. Okay, so that's the one I've got in my... Um, uh, advent calendar and that's one I got in Jama box but let's have a little look right because I've already opened this one look at it it's like butter it's lovely right it's really really super thick and it smells gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so what I might do is gift that to one of my daughters you know because I haven't opened it so I'll just keep this one you know, nice, but um, yeah, it's a lovely product. But there's the one I've got before, and that's the baby one up there. Anyway, it's nice to try if you've never tried it before, though, isn't it? Number nine. This one feels really light. Okie dokie. Let's have a little look. What are you? Oh, is it a lippy? Wow, it's bright orange. Goodness me. It is um, Autograph Colour Balm Lip Shine. Yeah, that's not a colour for me. That's Mrs. Williamson's colour, <laughs> right? Mrs. Williamson being a teacher I had at school that were horrible, absolutely horrible. The worst teacher I ever had and she used to wear lip colour like that. Nope, that's not for me. I don't want to be reminded of Mrs. Williamson, but it's nice we've got a makeup item. But yeah, I'll, I'll give that to somebody else. It's unswatched. Probably one at lasses at work might want it, you know, who never experienced Mrs. Williamson, so has no connected connotation to them. Anyway, it's nice, like I say, that we've got a makeup item. I just wish it wasn't 
Okay, it's on the floor, hang on. I just wish it weren't reminiscent of Mrs. Williamson. But anyway, it's there. Uh, okay, draw number 10. Here we go. <laughs> Goodness me. This is the hardest one to find the boxes in just because I'm not... Like, you're looking, you're reading numbers and then and seeing, you know, figure numbers. So anyway, right, this one, number 10. It's Philip Kingsley again. Again. Please let it be elasticizer. Please let it be elasticizer. It's elasticizer. Oh, I'm well chuffed. So I can do my hair with the shampoo, conditioner and the elasticizer. How fabulous. It's not as big as the shampoo and conditioner, but it's great to have it. It's 40 mils. Fantastic. Honestly, this is one of my favourite hair products, this. It just makes your hair feel so nice. I just whack it on and leave it for as long as I can bear. And then I go wash it, and, you know, and condition my hair as normal and it feels so much better. I'm going to do that tonight, I think. I think I'm going to do the whole lot, really treat my hair. Um, and get it feeling a bit nicer for work tomorrow. But anyway, there's that one. Love it. Absolutely love it. Door number 11. Hey, door number 11. That's unusual for me that I've clocked you. Oh, let me just have a look and then I'll tell you what it says on the box. I keep forgetting to tell you. It says, transform your skin in a flash. Oh, wow. Something by Clinique. Lovely. Do you know my sister used to absolutely love Clinique? Can I... At the time, I didn't have enough money to buy it, so I never really got into it, but she used to swear by it. What is it? Moisturising lotion, okay. They have numbers on them, don't they, Clinique? So step one, step two and stuff like that. This one, okay. All right, I can see through the tube. You've got, uh, not too bad. There's a bit of an air bubble in it, but you can, but it's mostly full. 15 mils. Okay, not too bad. Let's have a little go of this. Like I say, I've never really got into Clinique. Oh, my goodness. Don't squeeze too much out, Kim. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't smell of anything, really. Yeah, it doesn't smell of anything. It's completely without fragrance that one but it's absolutely gone in really well so nice i like it nice to try a bit of clinique as well so I'll pop it back in my box right so it looks really pretty okay do okay moving on 11 okay i'm looking for 11 we've already done 11 right door number 12 <laughs> okay i've just had a count of all the products to see what's um what are we, where are we going wrong Door number 12. Oh, this feels a bit heavier. Nice. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, it's in a bit of tissue. Look at this one. Wrapped. Let's have a wee look. Okay. Mediate apothecary. Fragranced with black pepper, mandarin, cypress and cedarwood. Body wash. Great. Okay. Got there in the end. Nope, they're in a clip top. Let's just have a smell. Oh, it smells really nice. It's quite, um, it smells like, it, you know, like a wooded forest. Right, <laughs> okay. Loads and loads. It smells slightly pine-like, but definitely like a, um, a day trip to the woods. Okay, so I'm very happy with it. It's unlike a fragrance I've normally had, so... Um, it's nice to try a different fragrance. Yeah, it's definitely a trip to the woods, that one. You know, not in a sinister way. You know what I mean? Just like going out for a walk through the woods, looking at bluebells and the like. Uh, very nice, like it. Okay, door number 13, here we go. This one. Oh, it's L'Occitane, but I know exactly where it is. It's hand cream, okay. So, L'Occitan hand cream. I'm not going to open that, if you forgive me. <laughs> I've just got too many. Um, somebody said to me to keep me one that I got out of my jammer box because it's a really nice one. But do you know what? I'm going to give these to my nursing daughter because I think her hands probably need it more than anybody's. So, this is for you, Nevi. You know, I've been in and bought hand creams with her before into L'Occitan when it were in Leeds. I don't know if it's still there, but anyway... Um, very happy with that one, but I'm going to hand it over to our Nevi. So, yeah, there's that one. 
Door number 14. Like a game of Tetris, this, in reverse. And they're trying to, like, grab the boxes out, moving other ones. Okay. This one. Wow, it's a big size. What's this? This says, Percy and Reed, volumising moose. Turn up the volume. Um, I'm not going to use that one. I don't really use moose. For me, I use stuff that try and smooth out my hair rather than texture or it up. But maybe it would help me get a bit of lift on my roots, you know. You get a decent size ch uh, tin, it's 100 mils. But um, yeah, I think I might pass that on to somebody else. Mousse is not my favourite. Mousses and gels, no. Glosses and shines, yes. I'm all about that. So I'll keep it and pass it on to somebody else. That that were an oxymoron. Keep it and pass it on to somebody else. What I mean is I'll wait until I can pass it on to somebody else. Okay, door number 15. Oh, light one. Light one. A rattly one. Okay, let's have a look. Is it an eyeliner? Okay, it looks like a black eyeliner. Okie dokes. Limitless, but it's Ico. I recognise the little logo. And it is just like one of these pencil-y ones. Um, yeah, that's going to one of my daughters. Defo. Yeah, it's not a brush one. It is just a pencil one. I'll pass it on to one of my daughters. I'm sure they'll like it. You know, it'll, it'll serve as a spare for them. So, not not for me, though. Like I always say, it's not for giving a mistakes, and I make lots of mistakes doing my makeup. In part, because I can't see, and in part, because I was clumsy as out. So, yeah, right. So, that'll be passed on to somebody else as well. These last few boxes are, are definitely all going to other people. I'm so pleased I got the beginning ones, were ones I really liked. Anyway, 16, here we go. This one. Not a lot of weight to this either. Let's see, is it another tube? It is in fact another tube. This works nice, I like it. This is in transit camera close-up. Be ready for that close-up in seconds with a mask, moisturizer and primer in one. Nice, let's give it a go. There we go, little bit up here. I'm gonna go up my hands so I'll be able to smell what they're like now. Oh, it's very creamy. Oh, that smells really nice. That's really fresh. Super fresh. I like that one an awful lot. I love this works, apart from anything else. Yeah, really fresh. Gone in really well. Feels nice. Fab. Like it. Like it a lot. Okay. 17. This is a big one. Okay, like my mother always said, if you're going to have one, have a big one. Right, so. <laughs> that and this is box for me. Right, okie dokie, number 17. No, yeah, number 17. A box in a box. What is it? Discover warm neroli. Neroli, bergamot, musk, eau de toilette. Okay, another perfume. Let's give it a go. Wow, I like it. They were getting a few perfumes in them. That's a cute little chubby bottle as well, isn't it? Like that one. Let's have a smell. Put it on this wrist this time. Oh, I like that one. I like that one more than the first one. I probably like ones that are a bit heavier fragrance. You know, I'm old, right? <laughs> I like old lady perfumes, <laughs> I don't like stuff that's too sweet and floral. Yeah, I like that one. That's my new work perfume. I'm taking that to work, right? I'm going to stick it in my locker. So I'm giving myself plenty of spritzes while I'm there. Oh, it's lovely. I like it an awful lot. Really like that one. Very, very happy with it. And it's a decent size as well. It's uh, 30 mils. So fabulous. Fantastic. I love it. When you think that I've only paid, if it's 40 quid and 25 doors, I've paid less than two pounds a door or a box for this. Plus I've got the lovely case that it came in. It's absolutely fantastic, love it. So that's really nice. That might be one of my favorite things I've had so far. I love it so much, it's great. Okay, 
Door number 18. Here we go. It's all going swimmingly. Please let door number 25 be fabulous as well, you know. Because if they'd put that in that perfume in door number 25, I'd have been over the moon, you know. So I'm, I'm waiting to see what they've actually put in there. Right, next up, what's this? Ooh, pretty. This one. Let me show you before I try and squint my way through it. Okay, another nail zinc, but it's in this lovely gold colour. I like that. That'd be nice on its own or as a topper, that one. Really pretty. I'm so pleased that we haven't got a pink. We've got a gold and a sort of burgundy colour, which is fab. These are about eight quid each as they are, you know, just the nail varnishes. So I'd, I can believe that this box is £300 plus. Absolutely believe it. So that's another one. Right, what are we on? 19. Here we go. Into the last few boxes. So let's try this one. That. Never seen this before. I'm almost certain I haven't. Pray, prayer. Prey Beauty Ageless Eye Tight Uplifting Uplift Serum. Firm smooths and lifts, right? No short of a block and tackle is going to lift my bags, love. But, you know, I'll give it a go. It looks really nice. Alarm. Okay. <laughs> we couldn't get through a video without an alarm, could we? Right, this is it here. This is what it's like living here. It really is. It's what it's like living here. Right, it's a pinkish colour. Really pretty though, I like it. And if it says it's going to lift me bags, that's fabulous. Oh, it goes a long way now. And it smells really nice. Sort of slightly almondy, creamy fragrance. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, wow. That's going to be great. I'm really excited to try that one. So, very, very happy with it. So, door number 20. We're into the last six. All right. Six to last. Let's have a look. Feels like it's got some weight to it, this one. Okay. This one. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. Right. I am going to give this to somebody else. I don't get on with it. It's so, it's supposed to be a brilliant make, right, okay. But I just like the Batista ones for dry shampoo. This I find sort of, I can't get it to not leave like a talcum powder blob on my head. So I'm going to pass that one on to somebody else. One of my daughters, I'm sure, will have it, you know, and if not, somebody at work will have it. So, um, yeah, but I'm not very... Um, Good. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word. And I'm not very good at using them. So I like ones that don't leave that sort of blob of um, talc looking thing. And I can't get this to work for me. But anyway, I'll pass it on to somebody else. A decent size. It's 90 mils. So there's that one. I've got a little collection going of gifts to people, you know. Right. 21. We're into the last five. Here we go. This one. Let's have a look what this is. Okay, I recognise this one. This is by Emma Hardy. Okay, okay. Midas Touch Revitalising Cream. Hydrating. Helps decrease the appearance of fine lines. Helps to improve firmness and elasticity. Helps tighten, smooth and lift. Okay, it's a big claim. It's 30 mils. I've had it before. Not going to open it because I've got quite a few moisturisers on the go. So, and I know I will use it eventually. It's really nice. It's a lovely product. So, happy to have some more. You know, very happy with that. I would like some stuff I've never tried before in these last few doors, though. Or something I absolutely love. Something I absolutely love. Right, so here we are. We're down to the last four. We're on 22. Okie dokie. Let's have a look at this one. What is it? This. Aveda. Vida. Uh, botanical repair. Intensive strengthening mask. It says light hair mask. Can't read the rest of the writing. It's way too small for me. But um, yeah, hair mask. Okay. I'll be using up the Philip Kingsley before I start using this. I'm not going to lie about it. But I'm not mad about it. It's a really nice make. So yeah, a bit of um, hair mask there. 
day before Christmas Eve. This is her box. Oh, it's in tissue. Let's have a little look. Is it going to be something really nice? This. In a peachy tube. It's an m &S one. Fragrance Society expertly blended fragrance. Poppy Peony and Pearl Barley. It's in a tube though. I don't fully understand. Let's have a look. What is it like a cream fragrance? Okay, it just says not recommended for facial use. So it is in fact a cream fragrance. This is very interesting. I'm going to put a wee bit on palm of my hand and see how this goes. I've never had a cream fragrance ever. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. But like I say, cream fragrance, never had one. So I suppose it adds a bit of moisturiser as well as being, you know, a nice fragrance. So nice, I like it. It's newfangled. I don't really fully understand it, but um, it's an M&S product and I'm very happy to have it. Yeah, still my favourite fragrance is that one. That's my favourite fragrance we've had so far. Okay, 24, Christmas Eve. Quite light, but it's Christmas Eve all the same. Let's have a wee look. What's this? What is it? Um, lip protection and care. SPF 30. So lip still on Christmas Eve. Really? It's by Ultra Sun. Yeah, that that doesn't seem like a Christmas Eve product. Any one of these other things seems more appropriate for a Christmas Eve product than that. No doubt I will use it when I've got through all the other lip sills, lip balms and everything else that I've got. But for Christmas Eve, come on, Max and Spencers. They just needed to mix up the boxes a bit and this would have been a brilliant calendar. Like that it's got an SPF of 30. Do like that, but still... Christmas Eve, that's what you're getting. Okay, whatever you say, Max is. Right, 25. And then what's this gonna be? Single tampon? Who knows? Right, okay. Let's open it and have a look. What have they given us on Christmas Day? It's a Clinique thing, which is at least something, I suppose. High impact mascara. All right, mascara impact optimal. Let's have a wee look. See what the tube's like. I'm I'm absolutely not going to open it because I'm using up the mascara I've got and I don't want to start another one. And it starts ticking down the time, doesn't it, from when you open it, which take it is in black. Black, okay. Right, it's nice. I like it. Right, okay. So these are my thoughts as far as all this box goes. I think it is a fabulous box. Absolutely worth the money. No questions asked, it's worth the money. In fact, I'm just going to stick some of these things back in here that I've got. Right, okay. But I do think that they needed to think out what they gave you on each day. Because in all honesty, what you're waiting for is the best thing at last. Right, that to me is what an advent calendar should look like. And sadly... A lip seal on Christmas Eve and a mascara on Christmas Day are not the best things in this box. There's tons of other things that are lovely. Absolutely tons. Namely, for me, this beautiful perfume. But also the Philip Kingsley things. Um, the Wren stuff that we got on day one. Uh, this body wash. I really love that. Any one of them, I think, would have been better on um on christmas eve and christmas day i just think they needed to to mix up what came in what box i mean it's jam-packed full of stuff it's lovely absolutely love it would highly recommend it right highly recommend it but i would say the boxes are in somewhat of the wrong order certainly the last two should have been swapped with some of the things we got early doors if you see what i mean right um, and it would have been even better because at the end you'd have got that really lovely surprise. But I am absolutely not mad about it. Look at all of that. 
For £40, you really can't knock it. Good old Marks and Spencers coming through with a beautiful beauty advent calendar. Um, if you've got it yourself, uh, please, I hope you haven't blown it for you. You know what I mean? Right. I might put a little warning on the video, right? Spoilers. Okay. But anyway, I've really enjoyed it. And that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. And I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye! Can't even do my outro properly. Okay, bye guys.